Hello, hello, everyone. Can I get a wave if you're here today? Let's get a wave. We're coming out to celebrate life. We're coming out to celebrate love. We're coming out to share God's love with you today. So we welcome you here today. Round of applause for the city of Brockton and those who are serving out here. We are so grateful to be here today. Just a gathering of people who love God. Just a gathering of people who are committed to serving each other. We care about our city. We care about what happens here. We care about the sick and afflicted. We care about those who are disenfranchised. We care. And the way that we show that we care is that we show up. We don't just disappear when people are going through hardships. We don't just disappear when people are losing their jobs. We show up with solutions. We show up with strategy. We show up with prayer. We show up with worship. So that's why we are here today. Why are they all here? We're here for that. We are here for each other. So I'm going to open up with a little scripture for today. It comes from Acts chapter 2. When the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. Suddenly a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit enabled. As the Spirit enabled. Let's go to God in prayer today. Extend your hands. Bow your heads in reverence. God, we thank you for just creating an opportunity to celebrate you publicly. Our fires are not hidden. Our lights are not going out. We honor you for an opportunity to show your love to your people, to your city. For revival is in Brockton, Massachusetts. Revival is in Brockton, Massachusetts. When revival happens, the unemployment rate goes down. When revival happens, poverty cease. When revival happens, marriages are restored. When revival happens, school systems are ranked at the top. So we thank you for revival happening in Brockton, Massachusetts. This is your city, God. You are the champion that we exalt today. You are the one that we give reverence to today. For this is your hour, and we are grateful that you have allowed us to be a part of your experience today. In your mighty son Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen. We want to welcome up the leader of our great city as he comes to share with you. Please round of applause for Mayor Robert Sullivan as he comes. First of all, good evening, everybody. Good evening. This is what Brockton is, coming together as a community, as one, a gathering. This is what it's about. Now, I'm a Catholic. I'm a member of the Tri Parish. I believe every day I try to follow the best I can the teachings of Christ. Uh, and what this, the scripture has told us, again, is, is we are one. We are one. It doesn't, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter your color, what religion you pray to your age, your orientation, we're one, we're one. And, and I, when Janice asked me about this, we did a Zoom, right? The Zoom's the new normal. I said, absolutely, let's do it, right? This is the people's home, this is City Hall, this is all of our house, right? So I just wanna first of all thank each and every one of you. It's great to see young people here, old people here, gay people, straight people, white, black. This is Brockton, this is what I call home. It's my home, it's your home, and it's our home. And with God's grace, we're going to have a safe home, an economic thriving home, a justice home. We need that. We need systemic change here in Brockton. And as a 50-year-old white mayor of a minority majority community, I recognize that. So my friends of color that have been discriminated in and felt biased in fear, I haven't felt that. But I can acknowledge that, and I do acknowledge that. And together, the key word is together, Brockton, the city of champions, can be an example not just for the commonwealth but the nation as a whole so today we're here to pray we're here to listen to scripture and listen to the words of people that want to speak but at the end of the day what we speak is in our heart 
and as a Brock Tony, and I love this place, and I love each and every one of you. God bless you. Thank you. Come on, if we could stand all over this place and put your hands together. today we lift them up one thing that we are not short of or we can never get enough of is peace turn to your neighbor and say peace oh that was weak turn to your neighbor and say peace we have to speak out what we desire to see when you walk in your home and it's rowdy speak peace when you go into the community and you see war happening speak peace so at this moment we want to declare peace over our city. Let's welcome Sister Betty as she comes to declare peace over our city. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hello, Brocktonians. Hello. Hello, the city of champions. Amen. We thank God for this time, this space, this privilege that we have. To give him glory. 
for such a time as this. So I want to just share with you. Um, thank you. Um, a young lady in 1965, in the month of July, came out, or actually she released a song. And that song was, What the World Needs Now is Love, Sweet Love. It's the only thing that there's just too little love. What the world needs now is love, sweet love. No, not just for some, but for everyone. And now here we are in 2020, in the month of July, and we still can say, what the world needs now is love, sweet love. It's the only thing that there's just too little of, not for some, but for everyone. Amen. 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 So as I come before you, the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, starting with verse 4, it tells us, Love is patient, love is kind, does not envy, it does not boast, it's not proud, it's not rude, it's not self-seeking, it's not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrong. Love does not delight, delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. I'm talking about love. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always preserves. Love never fails. In the Bible, Matthew chapter not five, verse nine tells us, blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Join me as I intercede in prayer, covering Brockton, the north side, south side, east side, west side, most gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, as I come before you now with a declaration of peace and love for the city of Brockton, oh God, I declare and decree more love less hate, more peace, less violence in this beautiful city of Brockton. I declare and decree in the name of Jesus, this city will be a model for other cities, oh God. I declare and decree men and women with influences will bless the city of champions. I declare that this city will prosper and be blessed. I decree that God's shield to protect the city of Brockton always. I decree and cancel the enemy's plot against this city. I decree and cancel every wicked assignment for this city, whether it's in high places or right here. I come against poverty. I come against the spirit of addiction. I plead the blood over the coronavirus that every spirit to come under the authority of God. I come against injustice. I come against hatred, self-hatred, fear, confusion. I decree the anointing of Jesus Christ over Brockton. We will not fail. We will see good results. I declare and decree you, Father God, will keep the leadership strong in this city. Keep peace in this city. Keep unity in this city. Keep love in this city. We thank you now, Father, and we pray for our mayor and his family, oh God. Cover his decisions. Cover him, oh God. Favor him with others, oh God. We pray for the chief of police, our Brockton police and women, oh God. The ones that are protect us in our city. We have some good ones, oh God. We pray for the firefighters, oh God, who fight the fires, oh God. All of our first responders, oh God. Our schools, our teachers, the businesses, oh God. I declare strong spiritual leadership in our churches. Pastors with the wisdom, clarity, direction, and focus to do what has to be done when it comes to fellowship and calling your people together. I declare that Brockton is blessed. I declare peace, love, and prosperity in this city. That Brockton will be a lender and not a borrower. We thank you for the city of Brockton and the people that live and work here in this beautiful city. We are here now, and it's up to us to keep this 
city beautiful, keep it loving, keep it peaceful. The Brockton is always improving to do better because it's possible and have to be intentional. So bless the people to be intentional, Lord, and want better, oh God, to control the controllables, oh God, to adhere to the protective measures, rules, and regulations, oh God. Father, we ask for your blessing, your mercy, your grace, and your forgiveness. I pray for unity in our city of Brockton. I declare love and peace over the city of Brockton, the city of champions. We will move forward to be better and greater. And the Bible reminds us in Psalms 46, 1, God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in the time of trouble. Now remind yourselves that Isaiah 54 says, no weapon that is formed against me shall prosper. Remind yourselves in Deuteronomy 28, I am the head and not the tail. Remind yourself in Romans 8, I am more than a conqueror through him that loves me. Remind yourself, Philippians 4, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. May God bless and keep you and protect and cover you and love and peace and our beautiful city of Brockton and its people. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. When you look up in the dictionary, and you come across the word salvation. Salvation means preservation or deliverance from harm, ruin, or loss. I'll say that again, preservation or deliverance from harm, ruin, or loss. We'd like to welcome up Jim Anderson to declare this is a place of salvation. God is here. today and honored to be here. Thank you, Mayor, for opening the City Hall Plaza for this event. This is just awesome. Um, if by my accent, you can tell I'm, I've been living here in Brockton for 26 years. However, I'm originally from New Jersey, so I got a Jersey accent. It hasn't left me. <laughs> oh, so thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for being here in our presence. Pray with me. Lord, you are the way, the truth, and the life. We declare that salvation is found in you and you alone, that every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that you are Lord. You showed us the way to salvation by your demonstration of love to us on the cross. You took upon our sins and the sins of the world that we could find forgiveness. Lord, we thank you for showing us the way to salvation. Lord, we confess that we have lost our way by our actions and even more by our inactions regarding to justice. We declare that all are justified through your sacrifice on the cross. Lord, we offer ourselves as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to you so that we can demonstrate your love to this city and the nation. Lord, we declare your mercy, love, and forgiveness over this city and nation. Lord, let your truth lead us and guide us. Your word is truth, and the truth sets us free. You are the word and you freed us from the bondage of sin. Your word, O oh Lord, is a lamp unto our feet and a light to our path. Holy Spirit, lead us into all truth. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Let freedom reign, let freedom reign, let freedom reign. We declare your freedom over this city and nation. Come, Holy Spirit. Awaken us and revive us, Holy Spirit. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, bring them. Bring them. Yeah, bring them. 
Jesus, 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 Jesus. Let your light shine, O oh Father. We stand here together united in the name of Jesus. We declare that you are the light of the world. Break through the darkness. May we, as your body, be the lighthouse that leads all the ships home. This is the city of champions. And you are the undisputed champion of the world. Undefeated and victorious. You conquered death through your resurrection. And you are alive and present here today. We claim your victory and resurrection power over the lost, over the brokenhearted, over the hopeless, over the homeless, over the addicted, over the depressed, and over the oppressed. There is nothing, and I say nothing, that your love and forgiveness has not conquered. Your loving kindness is endless. As far as the east is from the west, so have our sins been removed. And nothing, and I say nothing, can separate us from the love that is in Christ Jesus. Lord, we declare your love over this city. Your desire is for all to find salvation. You are the way maker. <laughs> and there is no situation, there is no circumstance that is beyond your redemptive power. We strike the ground and declare that you are for us and not against us, that your love and forgiveness is for all humanity, and, the self and your salvation is the way to healing our land. We declare good news over this city. Salvation is here. Salvation is here. Salvation is here. In Jesus' name, amen. together. You are here.
stop working. You never stop. You never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. everywhere and so many of us wanted an immediate response we wanted righteousness and justice done right then we wanted it immediate and we had the solution as to how it needed to happen according to us but there were things that were still working beneath the surface that you could not see there was change that was starting to happen that you did not feel and it's the same thing now why do we need righteousness and justice yes but we need to trust in God who provides real justice through his righteousness sake. So I want to welcome Pastor Patrice to declare righteousness, justice in our city and in our life. Let's welcome her as she comes. Hello, everybody. Praise God. Hello. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Mayor for allowing us to be here today, amen. And thank you all for coming. As I was preparing for today, the Lord brought me to 1 Peter 1, 13 through 16 first. And it says, therefore, with minds that are alert and fully sober, set your hope on the grace to be brought to you when Jesus Christ is revealed at his coming. As obedient children, do not conform to the evil desires you had when you lived in ignorance. But just as he who called you is holy, so be holy in all you do. For it is written, be holy because I am holy. When we think about righteousness and justice, we have to understand where it actually comes from. God leads us in the path of righteousness, it says in Psalms 23. We have to be led into the path. We have to be led into justice, God's righteousness, his justice, his peace. We are to be holy and set apart for his work, his mission, his kingdom. In Psalms 37, it says, I was young and I now, I was young and now I am old, yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken or their children begging for bread. And so today, 
before we make the declaration, before we call on God to do what only he can do, let's recognize that we ourselves have to take action to be holy because God is holy, to choose that we follow after God's righteousness and his justice, that he made man and woman after his own image, not in any particular color or fashion or form, but yet in God's own image is his righteousness is. So be holy, for God is holy. For this earth is waiting upon the children of God. They are crying out for this moment. They are crying out in our own city for um, to us to come together and declare God's righteousness and his justice in this city, to declare God's holiness and that we are set apart in the city of Brockton. They are crying and waiting out, waiting for us to stand up and to be the light and the salt in the earth that we are called to be. So we declare today, I declare today, hallelujah, Father, we declare today that your righteousness would be our lead, that you would take us by the hand, oh God, and lead us through each and every moment of each and every day, that justice would come because of your righteousness, that man and woman would follow after your holiness and be set apart for you and you alone. We declare that the city of Brockton would lead, would follow after your lead, oh God. We declare that we will follow oh God in faith we will follow oh God trusting and believing that you have prepared the way oh God and you have prepared us in this place and in this day to go forth and to be set apart to go forth and to be holy to go forth and walk in righteousness and right living to go forth to be the head and not the tail to go forth to live a life of love and not destruction to go forth and to have self-control and peace that surpasses all understanding to go forth and think of those things which you have given us to do to go forth and to stand that this city is yours and yours alone lord we thank you for this declaration. We thank you for this moment. We thank you for the prayers that are uttered and will be uttered, Lord, that are yes and amen. And we thank you for the peace that we all will rest in because you are here. In Jesus' name. Amen. So you know who Vanna White is? That's Vanna White. That's Vanna White. Give it up for all the servants out here today. You can sit down if you need to. It's okay. It's no pressure. No pressure. But if you want to stand, that's good. We're just glad to be out here today. One of the reasons why you don't see any specific church hosting this event, because it's God's church that's hosting this event. It's God's people who decided to come together. It's not a love alliance, not a resurrect, not a restoration, not any church at all. It was God's people who said, let's get together, gather, and celebrate God but also share God's love with God's people. So you won't see it on the bottom. We put the word out and we just say, hey, let's see who shows up. But you showed up, you're covered up, you're semi-social distancing, but you're protected. You're protected and we're getting it done. That's what it's about, coming together. So we're gonna declare coming together and declaration over our city. Let's pass the Lou come as he declares the declaration over our city. Welcome him as he comes. I'm hearing about churches being closed and churches not doing what they're supposed to do. But when I look around here today, I see that the church is very open. Amen. 
church isn't open because a building is open. The church is open because we are here and we are the body of the church. And as we come together today, as we pray declaration over different areas of the city, we do so as the church. And I'd like you to join me. declaring over Brockton. This isn't about me, it's about all of us who are praying together right here in this place. We are the church, we are open, and we are ready to declare God's blessing over Brockton. Are you ready to join me in that? We speak your blessing over this local government in the city of Brockton. Lord, we pray for the city council. We pray for the mayor. We pray, Lord, that your spirit would be poured out over this city government, Lord. That you would give them wisdom. That you would give them insight, Lord. Jesus, we pray your blessing over every single leader within this city. Lord, pray for them, to pray with them, and to pray your blessing over everything that they are doing within this city, Lord. We affirm their leadership. We promise to, to call them out, Lord, when they've strayed a little bit. But we do promise to pray for them to come alongside them, to work for the good of the city. Amen. Lord, we pray for the education system within this city, Lord. We pray that the education system in this city would provide for every single child in this city, Lord. That no child would be left out, no child would slip through the cracks. Lord, we pray for the teachers within the city that, that you would speak directly into their lives, Lord. That they would be teachers that affirm every student, that raise up leaders within the city. And Lord, we pray that this teaching staff would reflect this city, Lord. Lord, we pray for the economy of this city, Lord, that your hand would be upon it, Lord. That the economy of this city would cover every single person within this city, Lord. We just had someone walking through here kind of yelling and upset, and Lord, they're clearly going through a difficult time. And we recognize that as the church, if someone is struggling in the circle of this city, we are letting them down in some way. Lord, as the church, we pray for that person who was walking through here just a few minutes ago. And Lord, we pray for every single person within this city that they would be lifted up by the economy. Lord, we pray for jobs for every person in this city, Lord. And as the church, we will not rest until every single person is taken care of. Amen. We recognize areas where as the church we have we have been absent where we might complain that we're not invited to the table but if we're very honest we've been absent Lord and Lord let this day be a day where we step forward and say we are present and we are open and we are here to serve every single person in this city amen Spirit, if there is an area in the city that is broken, that we have let down, that we have not taken care of, speak to us, speak to the church, and let us go forth to fix it. Lord, we are present. We are here, and we're ready to serve this city. Amen.
pray for those who are struggling with homelessness, those who are struggling with drug addiction, those who are in the throes of slipping through the cracks with mental illness. Lord, let us come around them as the church. Let us be the church. Let us do this work. come together right now as the church and if you're here and you're you're part of the church just raise a hand we pray your blessing over every corner of this city we commit that we are here we are present we are open we are ready to serve we are ready to do everything you call us to Lord that is finances we give it is that is our time we do so we come alongside every person in this city and we do this in your name that something has to break because we believe in a God that can do the impossible he makes ways out of no ways he heals the sick he makes the blind man see he provides for us he's our lawyer he is the great I am so just receive this all over this place It's breaking, it's breaking, it's breaking, it's breaking, it's breaking. 
believe in your power. Something has to break life. We're not going to leave here the same way we came in. Because we believe in your power. We believe in your glory. Something has to break. Woo. Break of a chain, Lord. Woo. Yes. Break of a chain. you guys to prophetically put your hands like this if you can <laughs> and we're going to prophetically break <laughs> and every time you do this think of anything that is holding you down and you're going to break it you're going to release it because in the mighty name of Jesus there is power in his name you break the curse over your family you break the curse over your children. We break the curse over the school systems. We break the curse over finances. We break the curse over disease. It's breaking, it's breaking, it's breaking, it's breaking, it's breaking all over the city of Brockton. We break it in the name of Jesus. y bendiga que extiende su amor y te muestre favor Dios te mire con agrado y de paz y te dé paz que te cubra con su gracia hasta mil generaciones tu familia y tus hijos y los hijos de tus hijos su presencia te acompañe donde quiera que tú vayas que te llene te rodee va contigo va contigo Va contigo, va contigo, va contigo, va contigo, va contigo, with you, with you, the peace of God goes with you. Amen. Amen. Que bon Dieu béni, que bon Dieu qu'un beau, que fille qui bon Dieu toujours, well, que 
grâce pour Dieu toujours avec vous. Que les paroles la paix. Que Favelle était sous vous pour toute génération. Pour famille, pour petit, avec petit, avec petit. Mes présences allez devant vous, derrière vous, de bon côté ou, tout côté, en dedans, li avec ou, li avec ou. Grand matin, nous après-midi, les rentrées avec leur sortie, leur ont crié et leur ont réjoui, les pour, les toujours pour. Amen. What you have just heard are the lyrics to the song that we're about to sing. And this is a song that is specifically chosen because the words are words of blessing. And they're words that we'll sing over you and we'll sing over each other and we'll sing over the city and we'll sing over the leaders. So allow yourself to get familiar with the words. It's scriptural, so you'll probably recognize it. Please join in. Let's use this song as an opportunity to come with one voice and pour blessing upon blessing upon blessing over the city together.
and gather. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. The Lord bless you. Let him keep you. May his face be toward you. God, we thank you that you have not turned your face from us. We thank you that you are still with us. We thank you that you have gone out before us to make sure that our path will be straight. That our paths may come with trials and turbulence, but you will still be with us. You will still be with us. You will still be with us, God. So we give you glory today. We give you honor today. We magnify you today. That may we leave this place, but never your presence. We will never leave your presence because you will never leave us. You will never forsake us. You won't let us go without God. For we are always trusting in you. God, strengthen our faith from today. This will not just be a one-time thing. This will not just be a moment. But God, we come before you for a lifestyle. A lifestyle that is in partnership with you. Bless the city. Bless all those who have come out here today. We give you glory. In your name, we all say, Amen. Amen. Go in peace. God bless you.